When sampling for plankton in the Great Lakes, it is important to ensure that only the plankton from a specific depth are captured. Researchers deploy nets with mesh thin enough to trap tiny microscopic animals on a wire, which is lowered by a crane to a desired depth of the water column. Researchers can then open and close the net by dropping a metal weight, called a messenger, down the wire. Here you can see the messenger tripping the net, so that a community of plankton sample does not change when the crane raises the net through the water column and back to the surface. Once the net is at the surface, researchers hose down the nets with water to flush all the plankton into a tiny bucket at the base of the net, called a cotton. The cotton is then removed and its contents dumped into a sample jar. The sample is then preserved in either ethanol or formalin so it can be studied later in the laboratory. This process is repeated many times at various geographic locations and water depths to try and create a holistic understanding of the plankton community of these vast freshwater ecosystems. This helps researchers examine the subtle dynamics between fine levels of the water column. This information is particularly important in understanding how stressors like pollution and invasive species are impacting plankton, and how these tiny organisms are affecting the greater food web of the Great Lakes.